What's going on, everybody? Stock Jock here, up three thousand five hundred fifty-two dollars in the first hour of trading. Uh, gave a little bit back and currently got a long position in Tesla. But uh, yeah, everything's going good. Let's go it and get into the trades. All right, so this first trade on ZSAN. This one I had my eye on today. Here's the daily chart, right? Beautiful daily chart. Pop pull back starting to curl up you could feel it all it needs is candle over candle and that's what we got today all right so i was looking eventually for the break of this 530 level right this is today's candle the break of 530 would send this thing higher ideally i'd like to see a big old move but it didn't really happen so this is the one minute chart <clears throat> kind of what i'm kind of what i'm watching here or what I was watching, and I kind of just used this. I was trying to play an opening range breakout, which would lead to this candle over candle on the daily. So I was kind of using like this level and this level, you know, a little bit of a little pre market. Sorry for all the talking. Uh, I've got all my stuff running um, here. So let me lower the volume. So that's not, oh, let's just mute it. Okay. By the way, this is Fast Money Traders, uh, Luke Murray's chat room. If you're interested in it at all, uh, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a good, good chat room. All right. Anyway, as far as it's not really the best for teaching, but for finding plays out there, finding. Uh, it's more for the experienced trader. If you're new, do not join this chat room. It's really bad with teaching. The other chat rooms in my uh, description uh, of the YouTube video down below, those are much better for um, for, for new traders, sp sp specifically like Jason Bond picks. It's got a lot of videos, really helpful. Anyway, back to trading. Um, I was kind of using this level and the price action didn't do much. So I was thinking if 515 broke, it would get people to the upside. I went long, uh, 513, basically 514 right in here. Didn't do anything. In fact, it started to break the low. So it was breaking down. Didn't do what I thought it was to do, so I got out. I, I knew this move would happen today, but you know, if it wanted to push down below $5, I was going to let it and buy in down there. So I end up selling for about, you know, an eight cent loss there as it moved lower. I did end up getting long as it did. Now we have a true opening range. Later on, we'll cover this trade, but I'm just kind of going over it right now. We have a high, we have a low, and usually a stock, you know, in the first five minutes or so, it'll create this high and low area. And whichever side it breaks out or breaks, it usually runs. In this case, you can kind of see Here's the high, here's the low, we break to the upside and it ran. Okay, same thing that might have happened on the downside. Uh, it's called an opening range break, breakout or breakdown, depending on which direction. I sold half at uh, 34 and the rest at 26 and then 82. Long uh, you know, Z-San 514. You know, not a huge cushion, but uh, $480. So still pushing down. I definitely don't want it to be don't want to be in when it breaks five. So I'm gonna get out at five oh five and let it push down below five if it wants to. So ADIL, this one was a interesting one. Uh, it's a former runner, it likes to move. By the way, it's taken me all day to freaking make this video so far. I've had some issues with the microphone. I'm up currently $5,655, so lots changed in the past couple hours. Anyway, um, this was a news play. I heard the news. I go long. I know it's a former runner. It's a name I, 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 I've played before. The stock, as you can see, it can make big pops. I mean, 
dollar pops all three dollar pop another three dollar pop you know two dollar pop this thing can pop especially if it gets some news so news benzinga reports that they have a pill that can help with alcoholism i go long looking for the break of four and run uh you'll hear other chat rooms get in as well they hear the same thing i, I do starts coming down and now it's threatening like to break break the low here where the news came out at and I end up having to bail when it does that and it gets you know flushed out <clears throat> the problem was with this news is it was a day old and you'll hear me say I'm so happy that Benzing is reporting day old news so you know most of the time these news plays make me money occasionally you know they report old news it happens it's part of it unfortunately I took a double sized position on this one and got burned on it EIL circulating that they've got a cure for alcohol addiction in the form of a pill and it's moving up here uh, company, uh, the uh, article qu quoting Bill Stilley, CEO of Adal Pharmaceuticals. Well, pre-market high, but the high of uh, regular trading. So now we're just seeing that sell off. Uh, shares hitting now four dollars. Adil, I'm gonna pull that up real quick. See what's going on. Sounds there. like there's. They're saying they have a pill for alcoholism, or yeah, a cure for alcoholism. That article one. actually um, dated February 26. So I watch it here at 7:31 p.m. Uh, so the article uh, local time now in San Francisco. Just took a starter at four dollars uh, on ADIL. Chairman, so stop right now. Probably over 4:10, 4:15. 4:68. Is the daily breakout spot? That's a spot I'd really be watching closely. Three eighty two on the bid, ninety one on the ask. Thanks, Benzinga, for reporting a old article. All out three seventy three. So this next trade is Tesla, and Tesla is one that I was watching and have been playing all day today. It's currently uh, 1.40 p.m. They have a big announcement coming out at 2 o'clock, and yesterday the stock got rolling and absolutely ripped like 17 bucks because that's when it was announced that there's going to be a big announcement at 2 o'clock Eastern time today. So I knew it was going to get rolling. I was just trying to get in. I wanted it to be like an all-day hold kind of thing. Um, so as you can see, it dropped out of the gates, popped up, dropped down, and I was just kind of getting in here thinking, you know, it's going to make a higher low, so to speak, and it's just kind of getting in here thinking to get a pop up. Um, stop loss would be the low of this candle. It's kind of a reckless buy, but, you know, I was giving it a shot. It does spike up for me. Unfortunately, I don't take the profit and I should have put if I was smart I should have done something like this and seen kind of like mm, actually that wouldn't even help me I would have yeah so anyway definitely resistance at VWAP you can see it went right to VWAP I was green on it coming back down and as it's coming back down I'm like ugh VWAP rejection coming back down it's gonna go candle under candle and flush that's what it did uh, so I stopped out for about 14 cents profit, $140. Okay, so made 400, lost 900. Long Tesla, 317.15. DGTX, let me look at that. Sixty-eight million share float is definitely on the higher side. Zuzan, Josh, I'll check it out. No, ADIL after that type of rejection, I wouldn't be interested in it. 
RKDA, sellers at 740. Yeah, TGTX also has shares available to short. TTOO. I'm not sure I really see home run potential in it. Oh, yeah, I see that. All right, I'm going to shut off the YouTube feed. I thought I already said that. Out plus 14. All right, so this next trade was ZSAN. So this is where it actually worked for me. So um, a lot of times in the morning, a stock will have an opening range. So it'll make a high, it'll make a low, and this is the opening range. So this is, so if we're looking at it like this, okay, um, our, let's go with, let's go with, uh, whatever color it is. All right, so our high this morning is here, our low is here, and this is our opening range. So a lot of times these stocks, especially if there's some kind of daily chart to match up with it, in this case, you know, it could have gone either way, honestly. And it's a perfect bull flag though, so you'd think it'd go up. Um, I was looking for this to happen, but I was looking to get in early with maybe an opening range breakout that would lead me to the candle over candle of the daily chart which would be the break of 531. So as so we had the lows put in, popped up, pulled back, and what I noticed here is that this low did not go all the way down to the low of day. So it made a higher low. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Um, I took half position, well, I ended up taking 2,000 shares of 511 inside this candle and I was going to add as soon as it looked like it was going to break 515 which would have been this opening range breakout and volume looked like it was coming in too so volume looks like it's coming in you'll see it on my L2 we break there all right you look at the volume starting to come in boom we break we break out to the upside now the daily candle over candle is right here we're breaking that boom another launch pad right here's the daily candle over candle mark level we broke that now the next level is 550, the half half dollar mark. See how these dominoes? One, two, three dominoes. Every time you hit one of these dominoes, it, it jumps a little bit more. So boom, uh, that was the trade. I sold up through here in the 50 cent area. Um, just taking profit. Took 4,000 shares, an average price of 512, sold at 543. So very nice win on 4,000 shares. 18. The setup there is first daily candle to make a new high. So I want to see the break of Back long Z sand, 511, giving another shot. Uh, I'll add a 515 breaks. Stop is $2. High of that candle there is 220. So let's see. It's up 11%. Watch the first one minute candle to make a new high. This is one that I've had on my chart uh, for a couple of days watching the daily setup. So first daily candle to make a new high. You know, the target on this usually is to move back up towards Added. the first kind of resistance there we go. point. Starboards. CIFS. TGTX, Tango Golf, Golf Tango X Ray. Uh, uh, TG Therapeutics popping here 668 on heavy volume. Tango Golf Tango X Ray. Out half 543. There we go. There's the break. Selling into that break on the one minute. TG Therapeutics uh, announced that it's adjusting my stop now to 210. Unity NHL study. YTEN. Moving up. For patients with relapsed refractory marginal. Zone lymphoma, and its primary endpoint. Okay, so this next trade is RKDA. This one, this one was the big mover today, uh, but it took a while to get going. So they came out with news that they're going to start a cannabis part of their business, right? Kind of riding the coattails of GWPH, which is the, you know the leader in the space as far as uh, cannabis and medical marijuana. So anyway. Or 
medical cannabis, whatever, uh, without the THC. So I was just looking for an entry for a reversal. And what I did kind of here is I was looking to try to try to make, you know, a wedge to see if it was going to break to the upside of the wedge. Um, I just took this high. I saw this high created a line. This I kind of got rid of, but I shouldn't have. And I ended up drawing this wrong. So I, I just took these two though. So I was saying, this is the move up here. It's creating a higher low, higher low. I'll connect the dots. It gives me a little bit of a wedge and it, and it kind of went in here. So as it was coming up, um, I went long and you know what? Hindsight, I should have taken the long at the support line. So I went long anyway at 9.30. 929 looking for this break to the upside and start ripping start reversing people get excited this thing starts going on fire uh, What happened is it went up to this line which this line is correct. I had it the top line right and the bottom apparently um, But it just rejected the move and started moving back down as it was starting to move back down I was like well, I definitely don't want to be in it as it tests the support again because if it breaks this it could flush so I bailed minus eight and it was the right decision because it did flush out down to seven dollars. It would have been, you know, five hundred dollar, four hundred dollar six no, six it would have been a six hundred dollar loss had I had to sell down here. So uh good idea, I guess, just didn't work out. Buy it if it breaks seventy, sixty nine. Mm -hmm. Watching it. We got a starter there for a quick scalp on Zizan. So on this, I'd, I'd look for continuation and maybe a move up towards uh, six dollars. Watch an RKDA over to this Ooh, one minute candle over candle here. I that candle was seventy five. I'll take a shot on it in at twenty nine. The thing with this one is it dips down and then it pops right back up. So, you know, it seems like there's people... TLRY, Tilray, popping here, Tank Lima, Romeo, Yankee, Tilray, uh, getting some volume, 81. So this next trade on RKDA, I had the right idea, but I completely missed it, right? So I had this nice trend line here that is resistance. It breaks it here, pulls back, candle over candle entry would have been at 733, okay? It breaks that, I'm not in it. So it starts moving up right in here, and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. Maybe if it breaks this like this area right here, the 740 at level, it'll it'll start moving. I'm I'm completely oblivious to the fact that we got pop pullback candle over candle happening at this resistance level. That just screams pop. So I missed it. I get in at 740. I try to get in at 740. Sorry, I try to get in at 740 uh, as it's breaking this high, and potentially this yeah this high this kind of double top here. This one and this one um, gets the pop, but I get filled at like 747 ish, right? Terrible fills. Pops over the half dollar level, uh, breaks that. Good volume starting to come in too, as well, right? So I sell up into here. I'm th I think I made thirty dollars on the trade. Um, I do come back to it, but you know, I just again made thirty bucks, but I missed out on like four hundred. Or 500. see some size on RKDA right here. All right, I'm long, uh, bad fill. 748, tried 740. CGC, canopy growth, 
uh, hitting a high 4781. We caught earlier that, shooting star on the five uh, that they are working with Martha Stewart on a line of CBD products. That's Charlie Go. Charlie Chrono, C R O N, also at the high. Basically break even overall the, on the trade. Uh, Thirty bucks. Jeez. Uh, I'll let it pull back and then I'll play the one minute. All right. So I had a trade on ZSAN. It was a five minute candle over candle play. It didn't work because E Trade really was slow. I mean, it took like three seconds to fill, which is not typical. So I'm not going to go over that. It was just a technical problem. Lost about fifty bucks on it. Box, on the other hand, is one that had a bad earnings report, bad guidance yesterday, uh, just really bad overall. So it did pop out of the open. It could be shorts covering. Got a nice little double top up here. So that's a bear sign. Looking for it to come down, it does. Uh, at this point, it kind of made this trend line here um, for support. Bounce off it, bounce off it, bounce off it. And right here it broke, and that's when I shorted it. So I was thinking, okay. Uh, and that kind of correlated with a five minute candle under candle as well right here. Okay. And we just had a five minute candle over candle, not do anything. So this is just two things, two dominoes that's working for me. I get both of them, get the five minute candle under candle. I get the break of this support line. Next thing I was looking for is the break of view app. And then we start going lower because it was just a really bad earnings report. You kind of see it's finding resistance here at the 50 day moving average. But anyway. Uh, I went short, um, 1973, kind of got a, a, a really garbage fill at the bottom of this candle. Goes down to 1971, curls back up. At this point, I'm saying, okay, this trend line should act as resistance now. And it kind of did curl back down. But then the problem was, is it made a higher low, okay? So now it's trying to say that it's reversing course. And at that point... Um, I should have exited right here as it went candle over candle, but I did not. I swear I should have exited. Then minus, you know, it would have been six cents, six cent loss, but I kept holding and hoping, which is never a good strategy. Finally got to the point where this five minute candle over can, candle under candle turned into just another consolidation. And then you can see what happened next. We go five minute candle over candle. And that is something that is very bullish. So a lot of times if the, if the short setup, which is this, doesn't work, longs will play the next long setup, which is the five minute here, candle over candle. And you kind of see it pop from 87 up to 2010. I covered as that's happening right over through here. Uh, where did I cover? 09. So I covered right here as is breaking this again. It did end up moving up, which so it was a good cover. Uh, just you know, I, I would say this is a good trade that didn't work. The only set thing I would say is I should have stopped out a little, little sooner. So it's moved to five thirty-eight. I was trying to get shares that are over five, and they just they stayed pinning hard to borrow until I got down to about four ninety, and I didn't want to take any more there. So I'm trying to trade out of it.
ALQA hitting the scanners. Stopped out, 1988. So RKDA, this is where the fun really kind of got started here. So uh, we kind of have this wedge here that it's now made. We just played this move up, uh, came back down, created a new low. So I just kind of connected these lows here, but more importantly, it, it popped up again, consolidated here. We made a, a, a higher low, right? So I was just, I drew this kind of line connecting here and this, and it's just like it's right up against this. Uh, I'm gonna try to take the next one minute candle over candle, and there's two things that'll happen here. I'll get the candle over candle after pop, pull back, candle over candle, but we're also breaking this kind of trend line here. So maybe it's like double domino. Let's just see if this thing gets going. It's already showed that there's people interested in it when I made this nice little run here. Let's see what this one does. So I go long. Right, uh, where did I get long at? Uh, 724. So, right here, I go long, and it immediately starts to spike up. Uh, I get the one minute candle over candle. Then, what people are looking for is you know, previous peaks. So, here's a peak right here. We break through it, boom, nice volume starting to come in too. Biggest volume in like almost all morning right up to the view app, rejects the view app, comes back down hard. And I, you know, I'm really disappointed because it literally jumps like 30 cents, goes up and then comes right back down. I'm like, oh my gosh, you can do this. But the bids start walking it up again. Good volume keeps coming in. We broke this peak. You know, now resistance is view app and then like, you know, high a day at this point or, or half dollar and whole dollar. So um, I end up selling half, let's see inside this candle so i held so we broke the view app it started and at this point i'm like i know there's it needs to sell off so i'm already up big on it let's see what the pullback does so we get the pullback candles here and it holds the view app that's key so i don't sell anything here now we go candle over candle so this is this is perfect setup right pop pullback and what i always talk about is candle over candle after the pullback so the first candle that breaks the high of the previous pullback candle not this candle the previous one the last one that would be right here that was where more logs would get in and i could have doubled here i probably should have whatever so anyway i don't i'm still holding it pops back up i sell a thousand shares into this pop uh, it did break eight came right back down so i just wanted to lock in some profit there and then three minutes later, it's, it, it comes back down again. There's another, okay, so we have another pop, pull back, and it goes candle over candle right here. Pops up, rejects eight. When I see that, that tells me this move is not uh, going anywhere. It's probably done. So it, we're not doing stair steps anymore. Now our stair, our, we ran out of stairs. You know, a proper stair step would be pop, pop, pop like that making zigzags all the way up the zigzag stopped because we didn't make a new high so when i saw that i get out for the rest at 778 huge winner over you know 60 cents on average on 2000 shares so that's a thousand that's 1200 bucks so really good call it ended up flushing down you know down to this level and we did play off of this later on uh, as it makes its second move but uh, really nice win um, uh, off of that break in trend. ZSAN, Zosano, uh, popping here, uh, $5.84. IGC isn't really moving quickly enough for me to get that interested yet. Long 724 on RKDA.
Nice. Nice move here. Oh, really nice move. CRBP, Charlie Romeo Bravo Papa, wow. hearing a fraud report by Alpha Exposure. That's Charlie Romeo Bravo Papa. Fraud report out. It's already dropping here. Still holding. Got some serious Momo right now. Oh, you are not doing that. Alpha Exposure says new short idea on CRBP published. Get back up over. Says uh, link to convicted felon Howard Appel. That's the VWAP right there, so you know, watch how it trades around this level. That's Charlie Romeo Bravo Papa. Uh, shares hitting a low of seven dollars fifty six cents. Now it's seven seventy five, CRBP. So it's sitting down four hundred eighteen dollars. You know, I mean, it's like not a big deal. It's just kind of a bummer that we're not seeing better action the last couple of days. This week overall has just been sort of uneventful. So RKDA, the high of that candle was 74. So I could put an order at 74 to scalp a break of 74. So I'll take a starter there for the break of 74. And you know now the kind of question is, will it? So I'm in at 74, and 78 on the ask, 80 on the ask. 84, there we go, 87, 88. All right, that's a little better. So, okay, here we go. So over 95, I would add for the break of eight. Let's watch this for a second. It's getting a little extended, but you know, it's a, one that can be a fast mover. So maybe the better thing, the high a day is 836. Let's see how it handles this VWAP. Um, nice volume. I'll hold the rest of my position here with a stop at 70. The high of that candle was 93. The low is 73. That's 20 cent range. Put an order at 97 to add for a possible break over $8. Will it hold? That is definitely the question. Will it hold the VWAP? So that is not the prettiest one minute candle. It's a doji with a topping tail. I'm going to sell the rest for now uh, and put an order at maybe 90. Well, I'll put an order right now just at 97 still. Hold on. So down $145 so on the day now. Made back a little bit on RKDA. Oh, yeah. Hold this. Come on, baby. High is 93. Wow, big buyer stepping in now. Uh, Zizan, let me just check. I think it would be volume related. You have to reduce the volume um, surge. Filters. So over 785 would be the one minute. So far, VWAP held really nicely there. So Zizan has a high of 590. Out of shares. 
RKDA, 93. Kind of high, so, nice volume surge there. I'm going to watch the first one minute candle make a new high. Uh, high of this current candle is 85. High, a high of this current candle is 81. High of the last one is 85. Low of the pullback is 67 right now. <coughs> So now the first uh, one minute candle to make a new high is going to be over 81 in six seconds. So over 781 now. Watching with my hand on the buy button. Dang. In at 81 there. Look at that. That's nice. First one minute candle to make a new high. Sold half 803. Now I'm up $500 on the day. Redemption. That was a nice one minute micro pullback. Clean as can be. Okay, so our new high of day is 8.08. Our new high of this move is 8.08. I'm going to put an order at 8.10 for my next possible scalp. Coming up at 10.30, natural gas storage, a draw of 171. Holding, uh, BCF is the at consensus. 779. When they work, they work. Sold half so 786. See. This candle's going to close here as KLDO. You know, now indicating $12.55. Kilo Lima Delta Oscar, Toledo Biosciences. Watching the next one minute. But, you know, it seems like the momentum is starting to shift a little bit on this one back into the hands of the, the bulls. So I still have an order at 810. I think what I'm going to do, so what this did is it broke out, it came back to support at 81. Now it's going to probably do another one minute pullback here. Let's watch this second one minute pullback for another opportunity higher. Alright, so watching RKDA hive the last one minute candle was 98. We just did this really clean one minute micro pullback. I really wanted to see it hold 780. Up to 808, so a nice uh, 27 cent breakout. We made about $700 on that. Now it's pulling back. I wanted to see it hold the previous resistance level of 81 as support. And then if it does, Watch the Looking first really candle good here. High on the second pullback for a move higher. High Just had a one minute candle on a candle, didn't give the shorts anything left. besides panic. The candle has uh, about a minute left on it. Currently, it's a doji, not a you know, kind of a spinning top doji. Remember, high of day on this is 36, 37 pre market. We're reclaiming the VWAP, but this has a ways to go to really look bullish again. So maybe don't want to be too, super, super aggressive, but I that last candle is 91. Damn so now it. I'm going to put there my order again. here. I'm in, back in here, back in for the break, back over $8. First one minute candle to make a new high. I want to see it get back over 8 and then 810. So watching the level two here, 95, 97, good, 98, there we go, 99, buyers, a little bit of resistance there, really needs to break over uh, $8. All right, all out, 7, 78. All right, so this next trade on RKDA, this one, kind of a little bit of a head fake on Let's see what it looked like on the five minute chart. I don't know if I was actually looking at it. What is this? 1030. Okay, so we did have actually have a pop pullback candle over candle in the five minute going for us. Um, this one, you know, it, it made a base, right? This is this is the base that it made. Tested it, tested it, tested it, holding it. Uh, we got this move up. If you want to call, you know, if you want to call this area, you know, an area of resistance, you can do that. 
that's what I was looking at, just kind of channeling sideways. What I saw here is it goes up to here, pulls back, and it went candle under candle, but then came right back up. And I was like, this is going to dip and rip and just blow through eight again and take off. So I go long thinking we're going to break this pullback candle, uh, 795. I go long, I go double size. That's how confident I was on it. At 795, it head fakes. It doesn't do it. It doesn't break that level. It starts to pull back. And it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So I have to stop out. I have to respect that. I stopped out basically at 780 average uh, as it's um, breaking the candles low. The current candles low. I think it was this candle. No, it was right here. So it went candle under candle. I'm stopping out. You know, if it wants to come back down and test that level, which it did, I don't want to be in it because I don't want to be in it if it flushes out there. So it didn't work out. Um, we do play it again here, the exact same thing for the break of this level, the 795 level, right? Uh, and this time it paid off, okay? I'll show this, uh, these two trades back to back. First time it didn't work, tested this level again. Coming back up, I take double position again, and this time it just absolutely rock and rolls. So uh, it breaks that $8, breaks, breaks this high, that's another domino. Starts moving up big, big time. Um, breaks the half dollar level. You know, I don't, is that high a day at that point? Probably. Yeah, broke high a day. And now it's just starting, you know, head towards nine, breaks nine. Uh, so I'm like, okay, we're running out of dominoes. Get this thing going. So I sell half, 2,000 shares at 884. Um, and I sell another half, breaks nine again, and comes back down uh, at eight or another quarter I should say at 894 and then I sell some more at 891 so really nice win there basically a dollar ten move on um, 4,000 shares right a dollar move on 4,000 shares average it's four, that's four grand that's a that's a sweet sweet winner um, the next trade RKDA again this is at 1050 all right same idea i was looking for the exact same idea i ended up losing on this one so we have a pop we have pullback candles and it goes candle over candle see this is the high here this is watch this number this h is the high of the candle i'm hovering over 939 i go long 939 looking for the break we get it, it goes to 940 but it doesn't do anything that's a bearish sign so as it's coming back down i stop out uh, I lose, let's see, about 15 cents, $300 on that one. As you can see, uh, it did come down. It did end up going back up, RKDA. I do play it again, 921. Um, let's see, at yeah, the 53 mark. Okay, so here it is. We finally do get the candle over candle right here. I go long again, pops up doesn't do anything now I got another candle over candle I didn't do anything so I bail on that one um, 920 uh, and let me run the clips on these because I don't know if I recorded past this part so let me just uh, show those and well if there's more I'll, I'll show those as well DEL Dell Technologies June 62 and a half call sweep Patience. that's ahead of Looking earnings after open. the close De Delta Echo Lima Lima 95 so watch 95 that break nope not doing anything Thought it was gonna break there, that's why I went long. Like a little dip and rip kind of thing. So I have the last one minute candles ninety five.
stopped out. 80. So stopping out. Down 576 on the day. Half I'll at 81. Done since it's 10:30 and we're just not seeing. Not the rest. 78. That's a shame. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Sold half, 884. All out. For right now, the high is uh, 903. It looks like it's going to get halted here at 903. Nope, halt level moved up to 923. So it's not going to halt till 923. So let's watch a pullback. The high is uh, 9.05. I'm watching a pullback for another scalp. My order at 9.05. You know, we may get a sharp pullback here. That was a full $1 breakout. Watch over 9.05. Just watch the first one minute candle to make a new high. I'm in for a scalp. Back in. Sold another half or a quarter, 8.94. 1,600 shares. All out, 8.91. High Holy is like cannoli. Stop is you make a new high. Just added there for the break of the half dollar. Looking for the break over 45. This is, you know, one minute pullback. Well, I'm getting kind of... I'm not... I'm getting. I'm a little frustrated on RKDA because I missed the big breakout, um, you know, right here at eight, and then I jumped in high at nine twenty and sold it at seventy. Stop loss at under nine eleven. Sold it at ninety. Got back in at nine. Sold it at eight eighty. You know, so it's like when you miss, when you don't position well because you miss the breakout. It's the one minute. It just kind of puts you behind the ball. So. It's just a tough position to trade from. Stop loss probably break even now. Stopped out minus oh minus one. And that's how I ended the day. I actually made one little small trade that I'm not gonna go over. It was just an in and out. Actually uh, ended me the day around or the first hour three thousand five hundred forty eight dollars uh, so really good first hour trading I needed it I'm actually still down on the air uh, if you haven't seen why I don't do red day videos it's just because I emotionally can't handle focusing on red days right now in my trading career I do have them I'm actually red on the year right now I'm not proud of it but I will climb out of this hole um, made over a hundred thousand last year I plan on making similar this year uh, I had a bad streak last year towards the end of the year and climbed out of it. This just so happened to have uh, this bad streak is happening at the beginning of the year. So um, I actually finished the day over 7,000 today, uh, which was really nice. I needed that. So getting back into the swing of things here, it's uh, it's nice to have a green day for sure. So, but anyway, if you have any questions on my trading style, feel free to ask. My free Discord chat room, the link for that is in the description down below, as well as all the links to all the chat rooms I personally subscribe to myself. If you're interested in them or have questions on them and you're interested in joining them, uh, ask me and I'll tell you straight up what I like, what I don't like about each one of them. All right, I, got, I will see you all in the next video.